since we've been retired, I have been able to take a lot of time to do the things that I wanted to do. And that's the reason we started in a low cost of living country, because it gave us a very good insight of where our money is going to get us. Once we felt that we could adjust properly and, and be able to live retired that way, things just fell into place so we were able to do more things instead of being caught up in the whole rat race of the United States lifestyle. I'm Diane. And I'm Guillermo. And I was 47 when we achieved fire. And I was 44 when I achieved fire. We had saved up 2.2 million and decided to travel the world in search of our forever home. We met when we were in our late teens in Northern Virginia through family and friends. And Guillermo actually left Virginia for more than 10 years. Uh, we remained friends. And when he returned, we began dating and eventually married in 2004. I was a real estate agent and I had developed a small real estate team in the United States, Northern Virginia, DC metro area. I was in the telecom industry for over 20 years, did four years in the military and the Marines. We had a combined income of over 270,000 US. When we retired in 2018, our net worth was 2.2 million US dollars. And currently today in 2022, our net worth is 2.6 million US. When I was four, my parents split up and I went to live with my grandparents in Bolivia. The culture there was very uh, driven to save money, work as long as you can to support your family. And the thought of retiring that early was not even in question. I grew up in Mississippi in a middle class neighborhood. We didn't want for anything, but my parents certainly weren't extravagant by any means. My mother specifically had always talked to me about saving in retirement accounts, buying a home, making sure you had emergency money, no debt. My stepfather actually was diagnosed with cancer and my mother ended up having to take care of them along with myself. And the week that he passed away, my mother was diagnosed with cancer. I spent more than a year taking care of her. And I realized even though I'd always wanted to retire before 50, I just didn't even want to wait any longer. I started really taking a look at our numbers. I started talking with a financial advisor. I found the FIRE community and I came up with a plan and presented it to Guillermo and told him that I think we just need to go ahead and make the move and retire now and take our lives completely in our own hands. She actually did a great presentation because she knew I was going to be a very tough cookie to convince. But with all the financial apps and calculators that she had, she convinced me quite easily. So once we achieved FIRE, probably the most difficult thing was realizing we were going to be living outside of the U.S. and leaving our family, our friends, and our son, who still lives in the United States now. And I think one of the other difficult things that we thought was going to be a big issue was getting rid of all our belongings. It's so much better because we actually now are very minimalist. Our plan was to stay two years in each country to explore and see if we can find our forever home in each country. So we did three years in Mexico because of the pandemic. There was one extra year that we stayed. After that, we wanted to explore more of Europe. The decision was in between Valencia, Spain and Lisbon, Portugal. And because of the safety, the people and the culture, we chose Lisbon and we're willing to stay here for the minimum five years to obtain a EU citizenship and keep traveling, exploring Europe. So we have our money mostly in the real estate market and in Roth IRAs. We uh, really like Vanguard, <laughs> personally. We're into 
index funds, which I think a lot of the FIRE community is as well. So we manage our money ourselves. We don't actually have a financial advisor. And we also have money in brokerage accounts and in high investment savings accounts. We also started out diving with some cryptocurrency investments. Portugal is very crypto friendly. So that has given us the opportunity to diversify and get involved in more crypto investments as well. In addition to the money that we saved up for retirement, we kept three rental properties in Virginia as part of our investment portfolio. So we actually sold a property in Alexandria, Virginia that we were living in and made over $120,000 on that property. We bought one in Gainesville that we lived in for a number of years. And that's one that we converted into one of the three rentals that we have now. The rentals helped diversify our investment portfolio. So that helped us have a little more comfort being able to have financial independence without having to worry as much of having our money all in one place. So our typical expenses in the U.S. before we retired was about $7,000 U.S. dollars a month. And in Mexico, our expenses were about $2,700 a month. We have only been in Portugal about six months now, only a little over a month in our long-term rental. But we can already see that our living expenses are going to be, on average, about $3,700 a month. So definitely a little more than Mexico, but a lot less than living in the U.S. Now that we're not working a nine to five job, we still realize that we needed a regular routine. We actually get up at six or seven in the morning and have our coffee and breakfast. We take the dogs for an hour long walk typically, and we come back and actually do stretching and exercising, which has made a huge difference, not only in our physical health, but our mental health as well. We eat lunch at home the majority of days. We're prepping food. Guillermo begins to work on his videos in the afternoon, and I will do errands, running to the grocery store, double checking on some of our finances. I've been getting into crypto, so I may be you know, learning about that more, or going out and taking different lessons, whether it's languages or scuba diving or yoga or sourdough bread making. We've always got something that's going on that we work into our daily routines. And lo and behold, before we know it, it's happy hour every day. So we enjoy a happy hour at five o'clock every afternoon afternoon and really enjoy the weekends and try not to set anything up for that so that we can go out and explore and do things around the city that we're living in. Right now, we're not considering moving back to the U.S., but one thing we've learned in life is never say never. So we're really looking more at Eastern Europe, Southeast Asia, possibly South America, uh, and we'll continue our journeys until we find our little piece of paradise. I do believe one of our greatest achievements is achieving FIRE, actually taking the steps, having the courage to quit the nine to five job and to live off of our investments. Many people have questioned us, told us, oh, you need four million, you need six million to retire. How can you do this? But it is possible at any stage of your life if you just keep an organization, you keep a budget. It's so much greater than just thinking of how much money you need to accumulate, but instead, how are you gonna spend what you have now and have a healthier life, have better experiences traveling and experiencing different cultures around the world.